What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit of a haul. So I have a two-parter in this video for you guys. My next video is going to be focusing on things that I picked up for um, my up-and-coming nail course. But this time I'm just showing you what I got from my own personal collection. So if you guys would be interested to see everything I got from my birthday money, then just keep on watching. So guys, diving right in with today's video and I'm going to begin by sharing with you the bits and bobs I picked up from Hobbycraft. So while these are not necessarily nail art related items, I will be using them for my up and coming nail art projects. So I thought I would share with you guys everything I got. So the first thing that I picked up was this glitter shaker set. So in it you get 20 little pots of glitter and as you can see, in terms of glitter that we get for nail art, you get an absolute crap ton of products in these and the colours are absolutely stunning. So what I thought I would do with these was mix them with some of the glitters that I already have and make my own glitter mixes for my nail videos just to make them a little bit more unique to me and I really wanted to experiment with mixing my own colours and seeing what I could come up with so I thought this was a great little product to have for that purpose. So next up guys, I got this set of Dalla Rimney Artist Inks and these are basically six bottles of ink in various colours. I went ahead and picked up the primary colours set but they do do a couple of different sets and if these work for the purposes that I want them to, then I definitely will be adding more to my collection. You get so much product in the bottle. Each little dropper is um, dropper bottle is 29.5 millilitres each and like I said, you get six colours. First up, we have the red one. We then have a blue one and I absolutely adore this shade of blue and then we also have a green one a magenta one and then we have a yellow one and finally we have like a sepia colored one and this set basically cost me around about 25 or 26 pound each and I thought that was a great little deal to try out all of the products before I commit to buying the single bottles so next up I got this um, glass jar here and I basically have loads of these in my collection and I keep these for my monomer alcohol or water during my nail designs. And then I also picked up one of these um, Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes and if I could get this to work on my nails for some foil designs then I'm not kidding, I'm going to be saving so much money because it is a massive pot. And then finally from Hobbycraft I also went ahead and picked up some of these puffy paints. These are 3D paints that you dry with a hair dryer and if I could get these to work on my nails I will be so excited to try it so next up guys I'm going to be sharing with you the glitters I got from the glitter fairy which is actually a first from me I haven't actually bought anything from her site before so I'm super excited to give these a try so I went ahead and got a mystery bag and in it I got this pink pigment but as you can see we've had a little bit of an accident there is still lots of it left so I did end up just cleaning up the pot and popping it in with my glitters and then I also got these absolutely stunning holographic flakes I mean guys just look at the sparkle on these they are so pretty and I'm absolutely absolutely pumped to have these ones in my collection. So basically, when I was ordering this mystery bag, she asked for some hints on what I would like, and I basically said bright colours and summer shades, and she did not disappoint. The first one I have here to share with you is called Marigold, and this one is a really super fine glitter, and it's from her Indian Summer Collection. And then I also got some of these holographic black unicorns, and they are just so bloody cute. So next up, I got this holographic disco mix in light blue. And guys, just look at how beautiful this is. It's got so many shades of blue in it. Lots of different shapes and grades of glitter. But it also has this gorgeous iridescent feel to it. And I think this one is going to look absolutely epic on the nails. And then I got this neon multi cut and candy apple. And this one is so bright and in your face. I cannot wait to give this one a go. And it's going to be so perfect for summer nails. Next, I got this Pearl Fine Rose, and this one is a really super fine glitter, so it's going to be perfect for just sprinkling over any colour of your favourite gel polish to give you just a little pop of pink, and it is so beautiful, and again, perfect for the summer. And then I also got another super fine mix. This one is Holographic Gold, and again, I don't have any just basic golds in my collection, so I'm really happy to have this one, and it is so beautiful. 
Next up, I got another neon multi cup, this time in lime, and I like the orange one. This one has various grades of glitter in it, all in this absolutely beautiful bright lime shade. Again, perfect for summer nails, and I cannot wait to use this one. And then I got a neon chunky cut in raspberry. So these are just as neon as the other ones, but this one has more of a chunkier grade of glitter in it, so it's perfect for encapsulating or using with acrylic. Next up, we have one of my favourites from this mystery bag. This one is from her Indian Summer Collection and is called Orchid and is a really beautiful, super fine glitter in a really gorgeous iridescent green. Then next up, we have Star Mix and this one is from her Summer Collection also and in it, you get lots of different colours and sizes of these little stars. So we have pinks, yellows, golds, purples, blues. You basically have the rainbow in here and they also have little hollowed out ones as well so you could get different looks. And then I also got this holographic multi cut in silver. Again, totally speaks for itself. It's just an absolutely gorgeous holographic silver chunky mix. Next up, we have one from the Disney Villains collection, and this one I picked myself, so it wasn't part of the mystery bag. So this is Ursula, and I got this for an up-and-coming nail design that I have to go with some Queen of Decals water decals. So now guys, we are moving on to the bits and bobs that I picked up from eBay. So as you guys know, I've been really loving the brand Donato at the moment. So I went ahead and added a few more of their gels to my collection and I am so in love with my purchases. So I'm going to just jump right in and show you everything that I got. So guys, diving right in and the first few items I've got are gel polishes. So first up, we have Phoebe and she is simply gorgeous. She's like a sort of purpley, sort of pink glitter polish with lots of different glitters in there. So again, so striking and is going to look beautiful on the nail. And then we have Silky Rose, which is a cream polish. And this one is more of a sort of mauve purple shade. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Next up we have Sensation and this one is more of a glitter topper so we have a clear base with lots of different um, sort of Aurora glitters in there so it could be added over any colour of gel polish for a different sort of a look each time. And then I also got Euphoria which is another topper but more of a ready sort of burnt amber type shade. Then I went ahead and got some of their black spider gel. I'm not going to open it because, let's face it guys, I would get it absolutely everywhere and we all know what spider gel looks like. So the next item I got was some silver caviar beads. I have a crap ton of these already, but I have a slight addiction to them, I'm not going to lie. And then I also got one of their velvet matte top coats. So again, I haven't tried their mattes before and I'm so excited to give this one a go. So now we're moving on to the more Builder Gel type products that I got this time and first up we have Builder Air. This one completely intrigued me, it isn't a self leveling gel and it has a gorgeous colour to it so I was intrigued to give this one a bash. And then I also got Crystal Clear which is obviously just a clear Builder Gel and I'm not even kidding guys, I go through clear gel at a rapid rate so I can never have too many. And then I also got Perfect Cover Rose. I needed this one to complete my little collection of the Cover Perfect range. So I went ahead and added this one to my collection. It's a lot darker than I thought it was. Still, it's an absolutely beautiful cover shade. And then next up from the master line, we have Soft Cover Number 3. Again, I needed this one to complete my collection of these. And I absolutely love the shade of this one. So next up from eBay, I did go ahead and buy another one of these Silkair base one in cover. I absolutely love this stuff and as you can see, I'm completely out of my last one. So I went ahead and upgraded to the bigger pot because I swear by it. It's amazing and I love, love, love the shade of it. So next up guys, from the brand Silkair, I also got some of their gel polishes. So these are 6 grams of product per bottle. So I got first their base and top coat because I always like to match my base and top coat with whichever gel that I'm using underneath or at least have the base and top coat match and sandwich whatever gel I wish in between. I'm a little bit weird that way. So starting with the colours, we first have number 210 and this is an off-white. We then have number 1770 and is a really gorgeous sort of neon yellow and is the perfect highlighter sort of shade. Next up we have number 2020 which is an, again another neon shade, this time a pink one. 
And I actually was really surprised when I was swatching these. Some of these gel polish, actually most of them, were almost one coaters. And they did apply absolutely flawlessly. And I have actually bought gels that I paid £16 or £17 per bottle. And they haven't performed quite as well as these. So I got each of these for probably like £1 something. And again, guys, I could highly recommend them. Even just swatching them on swatch sticks, they absolutely applied like a dream. And I will be adding more of these to my collection. Action. Next up, we have number 330, which as you can see is another really beautiful pastel shade. This time it's a really nice light lilac colour. Next up, we have one of my favourites. This is number 400, and again, I want to, like, it's not a teal polish, it's more of a steel blue. My camera really isn't picking up that colour quite as well as it is. Again, another flawless shade. And then we have number 2090. This one is a lot more neon than the last pink, but still another gorgeous sort of like highlighter pink shade. So next up we have number 1710 and this one is a really nice lime green shade and I got this one for some greenery in some spring and summer nails that I've got coming up. And then we have number 1660, again we have a really gorgeous blue shade, this time it's more of a sky blue and is absolutely gorgeous. We then have number 1180 and this one is a purple shade with some light glitter in it. Then again, we have 1790, and this one is another sort of highlighter yellow shade. Again, I think I got a little bit addicted to their yellow colours. Absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to give this a go in some up-and-coming nails. And then we have at number 230, and this one is more of a pastel yellow. Again, simply beautiful, and was perfect in one coat. Next up, we have number 2150, and this one is a stunning sort of raspberry red shade. Again, this was a one-coater and applied absolutely flawless to the nail. We then have number 1830, and this one is a neon orange. Again, another gorgeous polish, but one I didn't have in my collection, so I'm so excited to give it a go. So sticking with the gel polishes, we now move on to Premier Gel and I did only go ahead and grab a few from them this time. So I first got their matte top coat to match the base and top coat that I already have. And then I went ahead and grabbed their white and black gel polish. I could never have too much white and black gel polishes, they're probably the ones I use the most of. So I was running low so I went ahead and got these two just to give them a try. Because I did love the gel polishes from the brand that I tried before. So guys, we're now moving on to the bits and bobs I got from the Nail and Beauty link. So just diving right in, I first got um, one of their royalty sets. So this is a set of Swarovski crystals based on sort of like the royal family. So first up, we have Princess, and this one is a pink and AB mix. We then have Prince, which is more of a blue mix with some AB crystals in there as well. We then have Queen, which is a navy and rose gold mix. Again, one of my favourites from this collection. And then then we have King, which is a red and purpley mix. And you also got a little sort of Swarovski crystal box to hold all of those in as well. So next up guys, also from the Nail and Beauty link, I went ahead and got my very first crystal pixie. I got mine in cute mood and I'm not kidding guys, I have absolutely avoided buying these. I was like, no bloody way am I going to be spending £20 on a tiny little pot of crystals that probably don't even make up two Swarovski crystals. So I was like, nope, I'm not doing it, but I absolutely caved when I saw this. So this is the petite one and guys, I got it and I was just like, yes, I am so happy to have this in my collection. I will probably never use it because because let's face it, it was bloody expensive, but still happy to have it. <laughs> and then I also went ahead and got another set of these Gel X full cover tips. This time I got them in natural um, stiletto shapes. So they kind of match the nails that I've already got on at the moment. So you could kind of see that the shape that you get. I still have to do my review on these, but I promise it is coming once I get this bloody nail room all set up. And next up, I also got this total randomly, but um, I wanted it because it was cute, I'm not going to lie. But this is basically a little, a little sterilising jar that you could use on your desk. So you could just pop your nail tools in when you're finished doing it and they will be sterilised for your next design. 
So next up guys, quite boringly, but one can never have too many, I got some lint-free wipes and I also got this um, soak off sort of little pot thing. I haven't got one of these in my collection. I needed one because I wanted to use it to soak off my gel nails instead of wrapping them in tin foil because I could never really get the amount of product that I need. So again, I got this simply for just a little bit of easiness in soaking off my nails. And then I also got this duster brush. Again, I probably won't use it. It will probably sit in my desk because I just got it because it was rose gold and rainbow like and super fluffy and it was simply gorgeous. And then I also got this pipette because I do have some water globes that I want to try in an up-and-coming video and I thought this would make it a little bit easier so guys that is us finally reached the end of this long ass haul video and I really hope you guys enjoyed having a little nosy at all of the products that I got for my birthday and finally guys remember to stay tuned for part two of this haul which will feature all of the products that I have picked up for going to my up and coming nail course and I'm also going to be sharing with you in another video basically everything that I'm packing and what I'm taking and I thought it would be great for me to bring you guys along in my up and coming journey as I become a qualified nail technician so I'm super excited to finally be sharing that with you guys so I will be a little bit busy in the up and coming weeks but again I am so excited and I hope you guys will enjoy all of the videos that I have prepared in the process and to finish off today's video guys if you did enjoy my haul today please give me a thumbs up I would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel and you haven't already don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime I upload a new video and as always guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye